Good morning. Welcome back to Eric DoorDash. It is 11 26, April 11, 2024. We are back on Earn My Time, trying to get our rating out of the gutter because it's it was down to 40%. Now it's up to 50%. We're doing good. Though I did get a thumbs down on three things in a one star review the other day by some no tipper. So it is what it is. Either way, here we are at Wendy's for our first quarter of the day, guys. And we have no idea what we're making. We're excited to find out. And here we are, and my Wendy's order was ready within a minute after going in the store. Look, this is that truck I was talking about at the end of last night's episode. My son really wanted it. It says Piggy Barbecue. Little piggies are $5, big piggies are $8, pork plates are $10, and drinks are either $150 or $1.50. Big Piggy. Big Piggy Barbecue, guys. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, here, here. Take it back. Get it out of my bag. I don't know why. I don't know why it's in my bag anyway, but anyway, let's get going, guys. Ah! <sighs> okay. Well, I forgot my picture. Again. <laughs> I am so... I'm so tired of... Hold on. I'm getting an add-on. about that guys you know delaying myself recording the piggy barbecue delaying myself by not taking my photo and being here for that extra minute scored me an add-on how about that how about that it's my time to shine all right well wendy's did not disappoint they had my second order ready in just a couple minutes i'm gonna go ahead and take my photo of it before i forget and it's not prompting me for a photo on this one wow <laughs> door dash <laughs> i can't do it and despite the fact I've only been here for like 10 minutes or so, DoorDash has prompted me to abandon not only this order, but the other order as well, guilt-free, because I'm on Earn My Time. This would actually be a useful feature if I was on or, uh, pay by order and I was kept waiting because that would actually dramatically be able to help you not, you know, lose income when stores suck. But instead, it only prompts me this when I'm on Earn By Time, making it a useless feature because I'm getting paid by the hour. Why would I want to abandon the order? That's the only reason I'm on this feature is to get paid more if I have to get, have to wait. <laughs> All right, it is now 11.44. Looks like this order is first. Let's get it in the drink carrier and get going. The perfect balance. The Wendy's avatar. Seven forty eight. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> My wife did not trust me. Alright, well it's now 12.04. We're done delivering food to non-tippers or people that only tip a dollar. We are ready to actually deliver to someone who did tip. And that is why we are on Grubhub making almost $12 for six or seven miles. Pick up Fujiakas. Alright, they also had our order ready in just a couple minutes. Let's go. 12.24. We've delivered to this house before, it always drops the pan on the road two blocks the other direction. You just gotta drive down the block until you eventually find the correct place. But luckily, they've at least updated their delivery instructions to explain that this will happen. But I recognized it as soon as we got to the road. I was like, oh yeah, I know where this is going.
We're pulling up. I just got an 848 going right back to Fujiyama. So I'm going to finish turning this in real quick and then we're heading back to Fuji's. 38. We're back, baby. <laughs> it was ready and waiting. The trans moments were dressing in something that makes you stand out a bit. Paid off because I walked in and the worker immediately saw me pass the line of 20 people. This wind is blowing, man. I cannot see shit. My hair is just blowing in my face. 47. Well, it has taken me to a retirement home with absolutely no drop off instructions. Let's assume that it's just going to the front counter here and we will go in and ask them for the code to get out. Alright, well it's 109. After a very dramatic 20 minute wait, here we are at Freddy's picking up a four mile order. Oh my god, that's perfect. They got a sign on the door saying that they're out of soda. So they were pouring it all from two liters into people's cups to get it by hand. I asked the girl, I was like, they got you pouring it by hand today? And I started to laugh and she started laughing. I told her, I was like, so if a customer complains that the uh, carbonation level was low and it tasted like the CO2 was out, do you guys tell them, uh, okay, let us go swap the CO2 real quick. <laughs> you just take the bottle and shake it really hard. <laughs> Come back with the new cup and like, yeah, we swapped the CO2 out. It should be good now. <laughs> 122. Well, apparently I did not shut my door all the way because it's still beeping. I gotta say, that thing looks mesmerizing. That's pretty. But it doesn't have wind chimes. It's 141. We just got a nine mile order at Fazoli's. A poodle dog butt bush. All right, got our food. Took a couple minutes, but we got it, and we're ready to go. I have remembered to take my photo, but it did not prompt me for my photo. Guys, I'm telling you, the app is playing tricks on me. You know what I mean? 209. All right, he's already at the door waiting for me. Not a bad looking little place. Ah! Fucking no, non-tipping scumbags, man. <laughs> Ten miles away, man. Not a penny. I fucking hate this setting. It is so. It is so bad. Why am I even doing this? A U-turn was coming back down the road, and the dude standing on the side of the street, waving me out down, holding his receipt in the air, and wanted to let me know that uh, he didn't get his drinks. Well, I'm sorry, you know, tipping piece of shit. Uh, I didn't put the extra effort into double checking your crap. Maybe tip next time. Maybe then. Okay. <laughs> in my defense, in uh, the app, it did not mention any drinks on my end. It did show it on the receipt. I could have looked at the receipt, but whatever. And I'm sure it's just going to be yet another non-tipping piece of garbo that I am going to get four thumbs downs and a one star rating because they think I should drive nine miles despite the fact they didn't even pay me back to the store, pick up their drinks, and then drive all the way back. <laughs> well, it is now 3.12 after well over 20 minutes. DoorDash has finally blessed us. Someone finally decided not to tip, guys. So here we are back at Freddy's. Let's head inside and pick it up. All right, they only kept us waiting for two minutes. We did good today. 3.22. Uh, surely, surely there's a, at least a dollar on this one. Could be wrong. I don't know if there's my friend there. Like I said, it took 20 minutes, but eventually another scumbag decided not to tip. <laughs> Alright, well it's now 3.38 guys. I'm just saying it once again took a good like 20 minutes, but eventually we were able to have someone not tip again. So we're on our next delivery. It's only going a mile. We're going to head and pick it up. That's right, we're at Wendy's. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. No tipping dinosaurs. Alright, let's get going. Wait, Marshall. Get out of here, Marshall. Ah. It's gonna ask me for a photo. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing, guys? A good thing 
but I forgot to take my photo, guys, because as I was getting the door back open, I just got an add-on for Little Caesars. Like that's a, another person, not tipping. It. I took my photo, and then as I hit submit, I got the add-on. So it canceled the submission, and now I have to take my photo again. DoorDash, I'm in my car. I've already taken the photo once. Now I'm walking back around my car to take the photo a second time. Why? Oh, that's right. It's to protect my rating. Oh, you mean this rating? Yeah, you guys sure protected me when that person downloaded me. You sure protected my rating. Thank you. 351. Well, here we are. Here we are. You know, they did order four pizzas, so there actually could possibly be a chance that they tipped on this order, but that chance diminishes significantly when I know what setting I'm on. Oh, God. Right, guys. Little Caesars did not disappoint with their 10-minute wait added on. Let's go. Let's go. 412. Those brought us to these unique apartments here in Marion. It has like this on cave or in cave or whatever you want to call it in between. It looks kind of cool, honestly. I kind of like it. But it is numbers in the back of the building, but there is a, more apartments in the front of the building that are letters. And we are delivering to the letters. You shut it for me? Good job, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Peek at this while I'm walking back to my car. And that just looks cool, man. <laughs> you know what it is, guys? The building reminds me of Hey Arnold. I think that's what it is. It reminds me of Hey Arnold. 419. Go ahead and grab the whole bag. Make things a little easier. And it started to rain. Rainy and windy. Oh boy. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. Twenty dollars. Both customers tipped. And here I was. I was talking smack. I'm like one of those girls who has one bad boyfriend and now I think all boys are scum, you know? Only it's, it's you know, deliveries that I don't know how much they're worth. Signs of abuse. <laughs> Alright, it is 4.30. We'll follow up our $20 DoorDash special with an 18 for 20 mile grill special. But I couldn't help myself. I just love me some buffalo. Alright, well, we got it ready within two minutes. Hopefully it survives the 20 mile drive. It's the best we can do, boys. Right. Here we are. Here we are. Pretty hot to film in the time, but I'll do it when I get in the car. Five oh one. Five nineteen. We are now back in West Frankfurt and we got an order here at Casey's. Well they were both ready when I got in there. After two. I shall take the whole bag with me. Voila. Turn it in. See what the damage is. <laughs> Not bad in being over $8. The customer tipped $4.20. A 420 tip. Nice. 57. Well, we had driven from West Frankfurt. My God. 
That motorcycle's a mile away and still that loud. We have driven from West Frankfurt all the way back to Marion, and now we're getting the Popeyes order on DoorDash. All right, guys, Popeyes did not disappoint. Kept us waiting 10 minutes for a single biscuit, but we're ready to go now. We're doing good. They also forgot my strawberry Fanta, so I had to remind the employee there was a drink on the order. How about that? Unlike earlier, I'm going to catch the drink this time. Some were asking me for hot sauce as I was leaving. Like a good dasher, I ran back in and got it for him. 616. Icing. It's now 6.28 after making bank on our ice and delivery. We're now doing a nine mile Burger King on DoorDash taking us north to Johnson City. All right, Burger King did not disappoint with the 10 minute wait. Oh my God, get this zipped up and get this delivered. Hey. Ah! Oh. <laughs> this is not a skit. This is me, literally in mental anguish. I cannot remember to do it. And I just waste my time over and over and over and over and over. And over. 6.52. Ah, it's the place that's on the uh, curve way out here in Johnson City and they want me to park by the mailboxes. I remember delivering to this person the other day. I cannot remember if they tipped me or not. <laughs> well, here we are. I will park next to the mailboxes. They're driving down the road to me. <laughs> Hello. Honestly, it's not even that bad of a little road. I'm turning around in it right now. Like, I don't know why they don't want me to pull down it. Because <laughs> it goes down quite a way. It's for her to be running down here. They did tip. They left $4, so that made it a dollar per mile. We made 10 bucks. All right, well, at least we have the honor of immediately working towards more money because Grubhub just went off with the $13, 13-mile Don Lunas going to West Frankfurt, picking up Don Lunas and delivering it back in Johnson City. 7-Eleven. Ah, Don Luna. Where they 100% never touch the food until I get here. And then they start making it. All right, guys, just one short 10-minute wait later. We got our Sprite and our food, and we're ready to go. 729. Uh, that zipper. Seven forty-one. Oh, Grubhub blessed us with an order heading back to Mary in sixteen dollars, twenty miles, picking up Chop Kitchen. Uh, we were seven miles in no man's land, so it's pretty much a dollar per mile. I would have taken it if I was in town. So I took it. All right, well it was actually ready. Well, that's because it didn't have any rolls on it. If it would have had rolls on it, I could have driven forty miles and got here, and it still wouldn't have been ready. To one. We are here in West Bank right now, ready to drop off our water. This is the golden staircase, guys. We're pretty much only delivered to like two or three different places here. I haven't delivered to that house in a few weeks, actually. I used to deliver to them, too. The guy was always texting me, telling me to do extra shit for him. Golden staircase has never texted me. Alright 
guys, that's going to be it for me in this episode. We ended up making around $140 between uh, Grubhub and uh, between DoorDash. And we ended up driving 160 miles, but, you know, 15 or so. We did that there and back or there at the end of this episode. So I think we did pretty good. We were about a dollar per mile before we had to drive home for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you again next time on Eric DoorDash. Thank you. Bye.